Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Okay. Hi, Javier. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Manuel. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Oh, good evening. Hello, minor. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Jenny. Hello, good evening. Hello, Paulo. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see when the others show up. Okay, here we have today. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna start with the exercise of pronunciation sentence stress. Okay, remember that we are making emphasis on the, on the pronunciation, intonation, okay? So that we can um, sound more fluent when we speak, okay? Just let me share the computer sound here. And here we go. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Okay, if you see here, um, the, the circle, the larger circle is where this, the intonation goes up. Okay, here goes and then up, then go down. Okay, and then here it's like flat, okay? And then here it goes up and then goes down. Here it's flat, then goes up, then goes down, flat, and then goes up, okay? So pay attention how I say, excuse me. It doesn't say, excuse me, say, excuse me, excuse. Then they're perfect. No, they're perfect. Perfect, okay? Blue, I like the blue one. They're not very attractive, okay? Listen. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. 
Practice as many times as needed. To improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay. Good. Then, uh, minor. Read the sentences. Excuse me? Read the sentences. Um, excuse me? Uh-huh. They're perfect. I like the blue one. The blue one. The blue one. Um, they, they are not very attractive. Okay, good. Paula? Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay, Manuel? Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. 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 Okay, blue one. Okay, good. Thank you. Alan? Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Thank you. Saul? Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Thank you. Heather? Hello, ever. Excuse me. No problem. They perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Thank you very much. Okay, Javier. Okay. Excuse me. They are not perfect. Perdón. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, Astrid. Okay, excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Thank you. Okay, Alan. Alan. Oh. Who? Yes, Alan. Okay. Oh, you, you, did, you did it already. Okay, sorry. Yes, yes. No okay, worries. David. David Antonio. Okay, excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. 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 Okay, okay. perfect, attractive. Osmaro. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, good. Uh, Alberto, yes. Manuel, you ready before? No. Excuse me. They're, they're perfect. Uh, I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, good. Alejandro. Excuse me. They're not perfect. They're perfect. Uh, they're perfect, sorry. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay, very good. How about you, Jenny? Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay, thank you. Santos? Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. 
Okay, thank you, Steve. Hello, Steve. Okay, probably has problems with the audio, right? Okay, one. One now. No. Eduardo. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Thank you very much. Okay, Stanley. Stanley. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, and the last one, Elio. Excuse me. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. 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 Okay, they're not very attractive. Okay, just remember here, excuse me, they're, they're perfect. With a T, right, perfect. Okay, no, no, perfect, no, perfect, perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay, very good. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay. Now to continue with this one, it says in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Okay, so here we have comparison with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? Uh, here you see adjectives like better, okay, and other adjectives here. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, listen again to the conversation. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm. There's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, this is only the introduction. Uh, no. That's okay. Only the introduction to, to this topic, right? It's not. After you will, you will study more. 
But here, for example, look at these jackets, right? These, remember these, that, those, and that. Okay, this, this, that, those. Say, so look at these jackets, right? This ones. Okay, they are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Remember yesterday when we say, which one is when we have more than one option, right? More than one option. So here you have two options. The black one or the green one. Let's say, oh well, the or the material. Okay, the material too. This material is wool. Okay, what is wool? What is wool? Anybody? Lana. Lana, right? Okay, lana. Pero no lana de money. Okay, it's the material. Okay, lana. Then yeah, I like the wool one better. Okay, I like this one. I like the wool one, okay, more than the leather one. So then you say, I like the wool one better. Me gusta más la de lana, right? Good, the wool one, okay? The wool one, the lana, why? It looks warmer, okay? So when you say, uh, warmer, more warm, okay? But in English, the, this is not correct. The correct form is warmer, okay? No problem? Then you have, I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It looks warmer, more warm, más caliente, right? Well, I like the leather one better, the leather. This is for the people who likes to ride motorcycle too, right? It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, that is not price tag, okay? The price tag is the, where we can, when we go to the store, okay, then you can see the tag, the paper with the price. Okay, there is no tag price. Okay, or price tag to here. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Can you believe it? Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, now, questions. Uh, teacher. teacher. Yes, yes. Oh. Alberto, uh -huh. we Alberto. Yeah, okay. uh, the instructor, uh, wool one, uh, Mm -hmm. um, in this case, always uh, is use this word one. Yeah, uh -huh. in this case, yes, because you are using, uh, for example, uh, show me your hand. Remember the uh, example of ayer, show me your hand? Mm -hmm. Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh -huh. <laughs> Which one? Uh -huh. Then I say the last one. Which one? Always uh -huh. one. Uh -huh. cuando, cuando hay opciones, right? Which one? Cuando hay okay. opciones, okay? But uh, for example, uh, if, uh, I, but if I say, for example, I want to buy a leather jacket. Aquí no, aquí no uso the leather one, okay? It's the difference because if I say, I want to buy a leather jacket. Okay, yo quiero comprar una chaqueta de cuero. Okay, in this case it's different, right? Because this es algo que yo quiero, right? Specific. But in this case, yes, because it's optional, right? Okay, say so I like the wood one better. Say I like the, you can also say I like the wood jacket better. But it's not necessary because you already know que se sabe de que están hablando, right? So then, eso se omite. It's like in Spanish. 
In Spanish, you will say, eh, me gusta la de lana. Me gusta más la de lana. Okay, sounds different. You don't, you probably in Spanish, we don't say me gusta más la chaqueta de lana. We only say la de lana. We also, we also omit, we also omit the word jacket in Spanish. Okay, any other question? Okay, okay. teacher, one question. Uh -huh. It's, uh, is price in, in, is price the jacket is, Four thousand ninety nine. Four hundred. Sorry. Four hundred. Uh huh. Four hundred. Is is pronunciation the four hundred ninety nine. Four ninety nine dollar is pronunciation the 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 conversation the the, the clear. Hmm? In the conversation. Clear pronunciation. Clear pronunciation. Four nine nine dollar. Oh no. Okay, let me check. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their pre. Uh no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. No. Dollars. Would you like to try it on? Uh no. That's okay. Wool one. Hmm. There's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's four hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Four hundred. It's four hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Lo que lo dices, lo dices rápido. It's me. How much is this ah, okay. jacket? It's four hundred and ninety-nine dollars. It's four hundred and ninety-nine. It's four hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay. Where is that in the room? Yeah, this is what it says. It's four hundred and nine ninety. $99. Todo eso lo hice, pero bien rápido. ¿sí? Okay, it's $499. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Price tag. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, so $499 is almost $500. More than a minimum wage. It's very expensive. Very, very expensive. Okay, any other question about vocabulary, people? Would you like to try it on? No problem. Yes. yes. Sorry. Dale, dale. Okay. Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, the price tag is the uh, la viñeta. Uh -huh, exactly the tag. The tag and then the price la tag. Viñeta. Uh -huh, that's it. Aquí no decimos viñete, aquí le decimos el, no tiene precio, no tiene, no tiene el precio, right? With an, and then say the price okay. tag, exactly, la viñeta with the price. Okay. La uh, viñeta with the price, okay. Thank you. Uh, what else? No more? Teacher. Uh -huh. And when you say... Uh, you're welcome. What is? Benara, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Pero, bueno, ahí este no sé si welcome se toma como este no hay problema o. No, I mean, de nada. You mean you're welcome. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. 
Ok, como como aceptada, bienvenida, las gracias. You say thank you. I say you're welcome. Ok, no okay. problem. Yep. Yes. Ok, let's see. Now let's see on the next one. Oh. Does I want to delete it? Okay, here we go. Sorry. Okay, so then we have the video and this is it okay this is the next one the knowledge check all right then uh for the knowledge check uh, Saul can you please read these instructions here okay look at the following picture what are they seeing made of identity H1, use the word from the list. From the list. Okay, good. What? Now, okay, we say okay. identify. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, let's take a look at the picture. It says, what are these things made of? Identify each one. Use the words from the list. Okay, use the words from the list. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, and wood. These are like the materials, right? What is the cotton? Algodón. Right? The cotton. Then we have rubber. Plástico. All right, yes, rubber is como hule, right? Hule, yes, like a colibri. Gold, gold. Gold, this is gold, gold, uh huh. Silk. Seda. Seda. Seda, right? I think probably the tie, maybe. Uh, silver. Plata. The earrings, right? Plata. Plastic, I had a plastic is here, and the wool is maybe, maybe it is one, maybe right? Wool, dirt, <coughs> okay, calcetines, all oh, the socks, yes, socks, socks, okay. Here, then we say that's what it says. Look at the following pictures. What are these things made of? Okay, so we have the bracelet. This is the bracelet, I guess. Uh -huh. It is made of plastic. plastic, right? Okay, the ring. Bracelet. Yes, gold. A gold ring. And number three? Silk or silk. Mm -hmm. A tie is a silk. Okay, a silk tie. Silk. The socks? Wool. 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 Jacket? Leather. 
What? Yeah. Cotton. Cotton. The jacket? Rubber. Leather. 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 The shirt? Cotton. 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 The earrings? Silver. 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 And the boots? Rubber. 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 Uh -huh. rubber. Okay, so you can say rubber. Okay, bang phone mayuscula or minuscula, no problem. Rubber, silver, cotton, leather, wool, silk, gold, plastic. Plastic. Okay, plastic, gold, silk, wool, leather, cotton, silver, and rubber. Okay, now we submit. And we see that we have all of them are correct. Okay. So we have materials and then we have what each one is about. Okay. Astrid, can you please read this instruction here? Sure. Uh, sorry. Yeah, excuse me. Uh-huh. Uh, because they uh, say to clothes uh, wearing apparel. Okay, can you repeat that, please? Uh, because, because they say the clothes uh, wearing apparel. The clothes, yes, sir. ¿Por qué le dicen a, a la ropa the wearing apparel? The waiting? Apparel. Apparel. It's just a, a name in general, like, like garments. Like sometimes people use garments like vestimenta, right? So they, they use different names, okay? In general, clothes, garments, okay? And that's... Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, questions about this vocabulary? No? Okay, good. Then Astrid, can you please read this one? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to complete and use comparative adjectives. Perfect. Okay, th th that's why you know that in the video we saw the introduction to comparative adjectives in the uh, the previous uh, exercise was with the clothes, different clothes, and now, and now we're going to see the use of comparative adjectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. 
When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in our discussion box. Okay, now listen again. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Okay. As you can see here, now here we're using comparative. Which one do you Te prefer? Teacher, I have a, I have a question. Uh-huh. Well, I don't understand when I can use, a, for example, bigger and biggest or cheaper oh, uh -huh. and... Uh -huh. Okay, this is comparative. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say, for example, a big, you can say, for example, uh, let me see. I have probably, a, I don't know if you would be able to see. Do you see my notebook? Yes? Uh, yeah. Okay, this is my notebook. Okay. And this is my cell phone. Okay, which one is bigger? Hmm? The notebook. The notebook is bigger than the telephone, right? So you compare. And then you see this one is bigger. Comparison. But I have another notebook. Okay, look at this notebook. Okay, now if you remember my notebook okay in my cell phone okay you can say this notebook this one is bigger than the cell phone okay but this notebook is the biggest of the three of the three objects okay you see this so this when are more than two uh, when thing? no when the when there is an object that there is that has no comparison you say is the biggest okay it's like when you say the best okay what is the best for you what is the best movie for you or tell me something personal uh, something that is good for you food movies sports teams the okay. chinese food uh, okay, Chinese food. Chinese food is the best for you. ¿Con cuál lo puede comparar? French food. The French food? Okay, in French, in Chinese, which one do you like better? French food. French. Okay, for you, French food is the best in the world. Yes? Or not? Yeah. Okay, then when you say, for me, French food is the best, is that for you, in your opinion, in your concept, the French food has no comparison. 
for you is the best. Okay? Like, for example, uh, if I tell you which team is better, Alianza or Barcelona? Do you like soccer, Carla? Yeah, but I don't like the, that teams. Okay. And then, but Alianza or Barcelona, which one is better? For you, in your excuse, opinion. Excuse me? Which one is better, Alianza or, Bar or Barcelona? Mm, I don't know. Not your opinion, just uh, say something. Okay? Barcelona. 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 Yeah. But the best team, Carla, what is the best team? In Real Madrid. <laughs> okay, you see? But for you and for me, Real Madrid is the best team in the world. Right? Yes? Then uh, you can say that cuando algo no tiene comparación, we say it's the best. Okay? Podemos estar equivocados o no, but that's our opinion. Okay? When you say the best, okay. is our opinion. Right? For example, when you say uh, French food is the best, then this is the difference. Right? This is cuando hay comparación. Right? This one is bigger. But when you say the biggest, es porque ya no lo puedo comparar. Okay? Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, in this moment, in this moment, we are studying only the comparative, right? No, this, and the other one is the superlative. Okay? When you say cheapest, nicest, prettiest, biggest, tallest, best, smallest, so those are superlatives, okay? Cuando ya no hay comparación, okay? Good. So then uh, here you can see also, well, you can see ah, the spelling. Look, cheap. Only ER. This the ER. Is the ER that you see there? Means, for example, more cheap. Esto no es correcto, right? More cheap. The correct form is cheaper. And then is this ER is more. Okay. For example, uh, something that is cheaper. For example, uh, Uno gas station is cheaper than Texaco. Yes or no? Or Texaco is cheaper than Uno gas station. Which gas station is cheaper? Uno or Texaco? Al La Alpa. No, okay, okay, that's the cheapest. That's the cheap, no, sorry, I. No, yeah, no. I think I'm probably one or two. Okay, but uh, comparing those two, they say cheaper. But if you say, for example, Al Alba is the cheapest. Ahí sería ya la más barata. Right? Okay. So, if you say, for example, uh, Uno sure. es más barata que la Texaco. But Alba is the cheapest. Mm -hmm. But the quality. Uh -huh. the, uh, that is the point, right? But then you can say also, okay, uh, I don't know, probably uh, uh, you can say uh, Texaco has better quality than Uno, or Uno has better quality than Texaco. Okay? So that, okay. Sure. Ahí son so, los, los, los uh, comparative, right? So the ER. Mm -hmm. Can I say is when comparison for mm -hmm. two for two uh, for two things mm -hmm. uh, or two or more or when is two or, two or more uh, does introduce the the biggest uh... correct yes oh, ah, okay okay uh, uh, yes that's correct if you have for example one thing or two things. When you have three things, then you mm -hmm. use the biggest, the superlative. Eh, el, en la comparación también pueden ser grupos, right? Okay. Okay. For example, I have I have two groups in this uh, uh, today, two classes. This one and the other class. Okay. The other class is the other group is more advanced than this group. Okay, because they are principiantes dos, no, pre-intermediate dos, and you pre-intermediate one, 
ok, they are more advanced. No, no quiere decir que son mejores, ok, sino que van más avanzados porque van más adelante en el programa, right? So they are more advanced, ok? So when you compare two groups, ok? And then uh, you say, but I have another group on Saturday, Saturday which is, and they are, the, let's say, for example, they are, the, let's say, the, the most advanced students that I have, okay? They are in the intermediate level, okay? So then you have the, the three groups, okay? Can be singular or plural. Okay, very good, that's nice. I like those questions. Okay, let's see. Big. Work with this. Cheap, old, and new. Able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this. Cheap. For example, cheap. The comparative is cheaper. Old. Older. Older. New. Newer. Okay. Cheap. Cheaper, older, newer. Cheaper, older, newer. Only ER. Y ese ER significa más, more. Cheaper, more, más barato, older, más antiguo o más viejo, right? Newer, más nuevo. Okay? Cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Then we will see a uh, knowledge. And there are some um, exercises. Okay, with the comparative adjectives here. Okay. So you can take a look. Okay, what do you see here? We have a uh, silk dress, polyester, small, medium, cotton, and wool. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but a little small. Okay, silk, polyester, small, medium, cotton and wool, okay? Then, which dress is pretty or prettier? Prettier. Okay, comparison, right? <coughs> which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Okay, you can also say which, which actress is prettier? Jennifer Aniston or Jennifer Lopez? Which actress is pretty? Jennifer Aniston or Jennifer Lopez? The end is always a one, okay? Then you can compare also people, okay? Not only, not only the objects. Well, the green one is still- Teacher, uh -huh. excuse me. I have another question. Mm -hmm. And we use prettier Prettier and singular and plural too, or we add oh, yes. S. No, 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 no. Very good question too. Remember, in English, in English, they don't have a, we don't have a plural, the adjective. In Spanish, we use the adjectives in plural, okay? But in English, no. English, siempre los adjectives are in, uh, let's say in singular. For example, the new shoes, the old shoes, the big shoes, the expensive shoes, the cheap shoes. The plural is in the noun, okay? For example, I saw, I was under pretty. I saw two, okay, two pretty women today. Let me see, I'm going to get this one here. Eat an eye, eat an eye. Okay. I 
So, pasado de sí. To pretty women today. Okay. And pretty is in singular. Women is plural. Okay. Today. So, los adjetivos, esto es always, always, siempre en singular. Los sustantivos se pluralizan. Okay. También en género, ¿verdad? En sexo. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Nosotros yes. decimos bo bonita o bonito. Exactly. Pero ese es pretty. It's for, pretty for all. Uh -huh. You can say a pretty baby, a pretty boy. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Then, uh, but is the, the, the gender is called gender, gender and number. Gender. Uh -huh. gender You're going to use gender. the gender, el género, and the number. Y el número, right? Plural singular. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. The next one is, well, the green one is silk and the, and silk is more expensive than or expensive than. Okay. Aquí les digo que, eh, eh, more expensive. Cuando, ajá, the more, ex, more expensive. More expensive. Ya son más de dos sílabas, se utiliza more. Expensive. Tricílabas. En estas palabras que son así largas, con dos o tres sílabas, ¿sabes? Con tres sílabas ya se ponen more. Ok. Ya no se usa expense. Ok. Is this blue t-shirt larger than or more larger than? Larger than. Larger than. Larger than. Uh -huh. this, larger is, than. this is incorrect because larger is ya está more here, right? Is it? More, more. Okay. Aquí es como dice cuando uno dice más mejor. Okay. It's not correct. No. The red and white one is more big or bigger? Bigger. 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 Okay, and this is about the shirt. Now look at the pants, cotton and wool, the pants. Look at the pants, which ones do you like? Good or better? Which better. one do you like? Better. Better. Yes. I prefer the green cotton ones. There. More stylish than. More stylish than. Stylish. More stylish than. Okay. There you go. All our answers are correct. Okay. Uh, Un poquito de repaso de esto. Esto necesita mucha práctica. Probably in this moment, you understand the idea, right? The comparison, the superlative, and some uh, exceptions, but it requires a lot of practice, okay? Así que si algo se le olvida, don't worry. Okay, no problem. It's, it's more, uh, we need a lot of practice with this. And I want to show you before Let's finish. Okay. El, este es el midterm exam. Eh, bueno, hoy me preguntaron este que, bueno, nos pidieron que les recordemos de las plataformas, right? Eh, para este fin de semana tienen que llenar toda la plataforma hasta la unidad 3. Y eso incluye el, este examen, ok. Que, bueno, recuerden que si tiene algún problema, acá tienen que darle clic. Right. Then you open the other window. Se abre en otra ventana. And then, 
you play here. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. And then you can listen and check the correct answers. Good. And then you are listening and reading the questions and answers, right? And then you, you can do this with the first part. You pueden escucharlo cuantas veces quieran, right? And mark the correct answers here. Then uh, you do the same with the exercise two. Okay. So it's now checking that all day. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, shirts, they do look nice. Ben. I really like the blue ones, and the okay. green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? Uh, one recommendation, que les, una recommendation que les doy es que escuchen una dos veces primero, lean, se familiaricen, y ya a la tercera vez que lo escuchen pueden ir contestando. Right? Because they, you already have a, an idea, you are familiarized with the topic and the vocabulary. Okay? And let me see what else. Estamos chequeando que funciona en todas las partes del test too. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of B. Okay, it says instructing. Okay, then I'm fill in blanco con la forma correcta. So where R is O am, right? Okay, here. Uh, that David, in your class this semester, Yes, we're in the same Spanish class. Is, am, um, or I. Okay. It's really interesting. What is, what are, or what am. Um, okay, one of the three forms. There to be. Complete the following com conversation with simple present. Okay. Don't confuse the verb to be and the simple present. Here you're going to use do or does. Okay, do or does in the trick. Simple present, and here is there to be. Lo que hemos estado viendo en las primeras sections, right? Then let me see the other part. Circle the word. Now, nice to meet you, Rick, and what's is there or your? And then you have to choose one of these three. This is a very easy one. Okay, her, my, or its last name is five character. Okay, you have to choose one of the three. Choose the proper object pronoun. Okay, remember que los object pronouns van después de los verbos, right? Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like him, I like it, or I like you. Okay? Remember que para I is me, you is you, he is him, it is el mismo it, you and you, and for we is us. For they is them. Then we have complete the sentences, instructions fill in the gap with the correct time expression. Okay, remember here when I use, what are the time expressions? Remember? The ones that you use in the daily routine? At, at, at or in. in. Uh -huh, at, on, in, right? For example, at. I sleep at, in, or on. On weekdays. John gets home late at it at him on. I'm gonna choose one of those. Fill in the sentences with the demonstrative pronouns, this, that, those. Okay. Remember this and that singular. These and those is plural.
And then here there is a reading. Que el reading aquí se ve bien pequeño. Siempre denle click acá. Para que se los abra en una ventana. Y acá sí ya lo pueden ampliar más dependiendo estamos cuando estamos con qué. Y aquí se lee mejor y se descansa más la vista. Then you read this. And then you have to answer these four questions. You have to select one of the options. And I guess that's the last one. I don't know if there is the next one, no. And the next one is the number four. Yes. Section four. Then, el, for Monday we have, el, for Monday we're going to continue with the comparative. We want to have a review exercises with the comparative. And, and so I'm going to bring you a little bit about the superlatives. And then after we're going to start with the likes and dislikes. And we are also going to put the exam, right? So finish the exam during the during the during the weekend. Okay, you have uh, today, tomorrow. Okay, do it tomorrow so that you can rest uh, Saturday and Sunday, right? ¿Cómo van con las plataformas? ¿Todo lo han terminado? ¿Les hacen falta mucho ejercicio? Si tienen alguna duda, me hacen falta algunas plataformas. Okay, si tienen alguna duda, pues me mandan el. el las preguntas tal vez en el chat o al personal como ustedes gusten ahí es, es. y este tal vez así no les contesto en el momento para que sea una clase pero más que el chance yo les I give you I give you some help ok questions so far ok then uh, teacher needs to leave it ok good ok people then see you on Monday have a nice weekend Okay, relax, relax, and finish the test. Okay, bye bye. See you on Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody.